Last week or so, uh, the Scotch Test Dummies uh, each did a top five. Um, that would be Scott did five top whiskeys and Bart did five top whiskeys. And later on in the week, um, I saw that Swami did the same thing. He did a top five. And uh, I'm imagining that other people have done top fives yet, but I haven't gotten to them because I'm about a day, day and a half behind everything. But uh, I might as well jump in and do two top fives because, number one, I can't uh, limit it to five. And uh, there are two categories of top fives. There's uh, what I find uh, the five most flavorful. And there's the five which I reach for most often or have purchased most often. So here we go with the ones that I uh, like for tasting. Um, I guess number five would be... This guy here, it's the uh, Lot 40 cask strength 12-year-old. It's bottled at 55% um, alcohol by volume. This bottle is nearly empty. There's a couple drams left in it, but I have a full one. I have another full one. So that's the first, um, that's number five of, uh, of the top flavorful. Uh, number four would be the Elijah Craig 12. Uh, I hope they make some more of this stuff because I've only got two bottles left. And uh, I've had quite a few bottles of this stuff in the past, so um, that could also go in the other category. But it's a little, ex well, let's say that's number four. Number three, this is the a bottle of Lafroig 15. It looks a lot like the bottle of Lafroig 18, which is really the number three for me. Uh, this is just a reasonable facsimile thereof because I do not have a, a bottle of 18 anymore. However, this 15 is so close to being as good as the uh, 18, it might as well stand in for it, which it's doing. Now we get to number two. Number two of the top five. We are at the Lagavulin 12. This stuff is phenomenal. It is just amazing. This is the 2015 edition, and I, it just flew my doors off when I tried it. It's just wonderful, lovely peated whiskey. And of course, there's sherry in there too, so it's it's uh, it's it's nice, and it's not overly strong. It's just uh, I know a lot of people hate the word. It's smooth. It just goes down like like nectar. You know, it's beautiful stuff. And this one here, it's number one, but I it's the most recent one that I tried. I've only tried. It's only been a couple of weeks since it's been open. But this one here, the Compass Box No Name. This stuff is amazing. If you watch my videos of this one, I think uh, this one impressed me more even than the uh, Lagavulin 12. It is just amazing whiskey, just beautiful. So that was the top five uh, in terms of flavor. Here are the top five in terms of how often I reach for them. Coming in at number five, Wild Turkey 101. It's straight up Kentucky bourbon. It's flavorful, it's powerful, it's a beautiful balance. And it's not too expensive. This one here, the five-year-old 90 from Highwood in, uh, in Alberta. This one here is also uncomplicated. It's just uh, straight corn whiskey. It's five years aged in ex-bourbon barrels, and it just goes down beautiful. Uh, these uh, bottles are still sealed because if I opened them, they would be emptied in no time. Here's another favorite of mine, the 15-year-old Johnny Walker Green Label. I had to go out and buy a bottle of this tonight because I didn't have any left. So I haven't opened that one yet, but as soon as I open it, it will just disappear. It's just wonderful. Number two. Number two is the Cutty Sark Prohibition. This one here is cheap, it's strong, and it's good. It's just a lot of caramel in there, and uh, it's, it's a wonderful scotch. It's a wonderful bargain scotch. And it's it's got the clout to, to back it up. I reach for this one all the time. I go. I usually have a bottle on my shelf. Um, I, I ran out a couple of weeks ago, so I had to get this one uh, not too long ago. Ah, maybe as soon as the other one was empty, I bought this one, but I haven't cracked it yet. It won't be long till I do. And number one, 
for whiskeys that I reach for and purchase the most often, it's no surprise. Alberta Premium. It's lovely. It's beautiful. It's cheap. I know it's only 40%, but the flavor uh, would hint that it's it's more. It, it tastes like a 43%, and it just uncomplicated, goes down easy, and uh, always hits the spot. This is my number one for whiskeys that I reach for most often. And that's it. Two top fives in five minutes flat. Food quick. 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 Food quick.